Hi. I'm Sandy. <laughs> and I'm with IC Stars. <clears throat> We're a Chicago-based organization that identifies, trains, and jumpstarts technology careers for low-income young adults. Now we've had great success, and we still are, and I want to share some of our results with you. <clears throat> we have trained over 450 students in technology, leadership, and business. We have a 90% placement rate for our graduates, an 81% retention rate, and the average earning increase is 300%. Pretty impressive, right? <clears throat> well, I would argue, nah, not really. <laughs> you see, because what happens behind those numbers is that people leave. They earn enough cash to get out of the hood, and they go. And they take with them something far more valuable than their new earnings. They take their leadership. What if we determine success, not by getting out of the hood, but by investing back in? Let me start this over. <clears throat> Hi. I'm Sandy, <laughs> and I'm with IC Stars, and we're a Chicago-based organization that identifies talent, trains talent, and jumpstarts technology careers for low-income young adults. But not just any low-income young adults. We target those who have demonstrated extraordinary leadership. Why? Because in our communities today, so often, we're disconnected from opportunity. And that spark of ambition has nothing to connect to. And rewiring that social circuitry takes leaders. At IC Stars, we're not just developing professional skills, we're developing leaders who, through systems thinking, will solve big problems outside of work. Now that's important, because what our communities need now more than ever are leaders from within. So we created at IC Stars this program that not only developed a professional technology skills and technology content, we developed a leadership program that would ensure the success that folks have on the job and ensure the success that they share with their communities. So IC Stars has three pillars. We find talent. From over 400 applicants, we select 20, who after a finalist interview process, we talk to about how they've faced adversity in their life and developed an incredible sense of resiliency. And that's really, really important. That resiliency, that passion for technology, that aptitude for problem solving, and the need and desire to help others. We train talent. Our project-based curriculum focuses on two things. One is professional skills development through IT content, and two, leadership development that is focused on the community and the impact that we can all make in that community. Yes, we're teaching folks how to code, but we're also learning that leadership is about making opportunities for our businesses, for our clients, and for our community. And we put talent to work. Through our social enterprise, our graduates work on projects, and they work with Fortune 500 companies in full-time technology positions. Companies like Microsoft, Siemens, and Accenture. So if we zoom out, what I want to share with you is how I see stars is actually part of a much bigger picture. And I call this the cycle of opportunity. So in the center, 
is opportunities. And if we have no access to the opportunities to participate in the economic mainstream, our ambition goes down. If we can't see it, how in the world can we be it? Now, the problem is further exacerbated when bad policies are made for our community, not with our community or by our community. And this creates a vicious cycle. Well, at IC Stars, we want to develop leaders who will change that cycle. And so we develop civic leaders. And civic leaders will take a systems approach to changing those bad policies that impact our communities. Business leaders, through entrepreneurship, will create jobs and hire people from the community. And service leaders will be visible as coaches, mentors, and teachers in the community, addressing our ambition. And that when these three types of leaders in a geographic region reach a thousand and they're working together with a, shared, a set of shared experiences, we can reverse this vicious cycle into a virtuous one. So, a few minutes ago, I talked about some of our results. Remember, 450 students, 90% placement rate, crazy earnings increases, and we are super proud of those results. But what we really geek out on <laughs> is that 93% of our graduates are actively engaged as volunteers in their community. 56 of our alums have started their own businesses across for-profit, non-profit, and social enterprises. 32 of our alums sit on non-profit boards, <clears throat> advocacy organizations, and local school councils. And 57 of our alums have purchased homes. <clears throat> And it's huge. I mean, these were folks who were receiving government assistance, and now they're homeowners. And what's more is they're purchasing homes in the communities that they came from. And that's what leadership looks like. When we are changing policies, when we are starting businesses and hiring from the community, and when we are visible, and we are a visible representation of what's possible when we lift up our heads and we look to the stars. At IC Stars, we are rewriting the code of what success looks like. No longer can it be about leaving home to find something better, but about changing something better, making something better from right where we are. Thank you very much. Thank you.